One problem with the La Spare index for a basket of commodities is, is that it uses the quantities from the first year. It doesn't take any account of changing taste. A more sophisticated index is called the Pash index. And for this we have to use the quantities each year. And we work out the total cost of the basket based on the quantities in the year that we're now interested in. So if I want the index for 2002, what I have to do is work out the total basket in 2002 divided by the basket in 2001 using the 2002 quantities. So I'm going to get a formula. I've got to work out the 2002 basket, which is 8 lots of 66 plus 10 lots of 93 plus 2 lots of 75. That's the total cost of the basket in 2002 with the amounts that were bought in 2002. Notice for example that the amount of sugar has gone down because that went up hugely from 01 to 02 so people stopped buying it so much. Uh, coffee didn't go up much, only 10% from 01 to 02 so that became more popular. Tea went up by rather more so people just stopped drinking it. The quantity went down from 11 to 10. So that's the way that quantities change in reflection of price increases. But we're now working out the total cost of 2002. And to find the index, we must divide it by the cost in 2001, but using the quantities still from 2002. So we still use H3, but now we're multiplying by the 2001 price. H4 times 80 plus H5 times 54. And we'll times by 100 to get an index. And there we have 115.8 relative to 2001. Let's put that in. So it depends on the year that you're looking at. And the problem with this method is that each time I want to work out a different year, I have to use its quantities. So if I wanted to work out the 2003 index, I'd have to use its quantities, multiplying the 2003 prices, divided by these quantities times the 2001 prices. So I don't get a fixed denominator. For each year's calculations, I've got to do a new denominator based on the new year's quantities. That makes it rather more cumbersome to work out. But you could argue that it's a better measure of price increase because it's using today's quantities, what people are spending their money on today, rather than what they were doing a few years ago. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.